All right, welcome back to another figure prop tutorial. Uh, what I'm gonna show you guys how to make today is gonna be uh, 112 scale cigarettes, one that's lit and smoking, and then one that is just regular, no smoke coming out of it. It's a really simple tutorial, and let's just get into it. And like, like I always mention, all the stuff that I use in this video, I'll leave pictures at the end, so if you guys are wondering what type of paint I'm using, it'll be there. All right, let's move these to the side, and let's just get started. So the first thing that you guys are going to need is something that I like using a lot. If you guys see my other tutorials, is uh, a paper clip. It's going to be a white paper clip. And the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to straighten out the paper clip with our trusty pliers. Get this all straightened out. All right, now that we have the paper clip straightened out as best as we can, and remember, guys, the straighter you make your paper clip, the more you're going to get out of it. Um, you can leave it. A little like bent up so you guys can have used cigarettes like you could use it in your alleyway diorama or something just to add a little bit more detail so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure with our fine tip uh, sharpie 15 millimeters and that's gonna be the size of our cigarette so we're just gonna measure that out I'm gonna cut two of these and then come back to it I'm just gonna use my uh, my pliers to cut them and we'll come right back with the segments all right, now that we have both the pieces cut out, I'm gonna show you how to paint paint it so it looks like a cigarette. And I also grabbed a scrap piece of foam so I could stick the cigarettes into the piece of foam while they're drying so I don't have to lay them down and ruin the paint job. So what I'm gonna do is grab my cigarettes and poke them into the foam just so I have a sturdy place to put them. And another thing that I wanna point out is whatever side that you cut, uh, that should be the front side of the cigarette because it always comes off a little bit messed up and you can see the black in there so it kind of gives the illusion of it having tobacco in there. Okay, so now that we have them plugged in, placed into our foam so we have a steady place to paint, I'm gonna get a light golden brown and paint the very ends of them. I'm gonna do this to both and then I'm gonna come back and show you the next part, the next layer of paint that we're gonna put on them. All right, now that we got our base color down for the end of the cigarette we got that golden brown painted on there just give you guys a good close-up of it so you guys can see the color on there see if you guys could pick that up with the lights on so now that we have those done we're going to move on to a raw sienna color and we're going to dry brush this very lightly on there just to give it some variation of color and if you don't know uh, a dry brushing technique if you don't know how to do it, you can watch one of my older videos where I show it how I do uh, the red bricks and as well as in the concrete bricks and the sandstone bricks. I cover it in that video just in case you guys haven't seen it. So we could grab our cigarettes and then we're just going to draw brush the raw sienna color on there. Just very lightly. And this just makes it look a little bit more realistic instead of having one tone color in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I have close up pictures at the end of the video so you guys can see it up close. And I'm just going to do that to the other one and then we're going to come back and I'll show you how to do the smoke effect onto it. Alright, we got the paint on there and to make sure it's sealed and none of the paint rubs off on your figures. Um, I was using Mod Podge, but then I ended up switching it up because I found out it was coming off way too easily. So you could either hit this with Mod Podge, like I said before, it will come off a little bit too easy. Or you can hit it with uh, some super glue, which I already did, to keep it all sealed up. I just wanted to mention that to you guys before, you know, you make this and then you forget to seal it. And then you see paint rub on your figures. I just want to make sure you guys, your figures stay safe and all that kind of stuff. So now that I cover that, I also want to give you one quick tip. This does fit into Marvel Legends, uh, also the import figures. Like if you want them to fit, in, fit into the bigger scale, like NECA and stuff like that, instead of the 15 millimeters, you can make it 17 millimeters, and that'll kind of cover the base on that. All right, now that I mentioned that, I'm going to move on to show you guys how to do the smoke coming out of it. I'm just going to set one aside. And basically what I like to use is um, poly, polyfill for pillows. And I use this because uh, I think it looks better on camera, because uh, if you use cotton, it doesn't have um, spaces in between it. It's really dense, even if you kind of like air it out. So I like using this polyfill stuff that they put in pillows. Um, so basically, you're just going to grab a pinch of it. 
this is even sometimes too much just take a smaller pinch of it kind of trim it up with your scissors so I have a pinch of the polyfilm and then I'm just gonna grab regular Elmer's glue and apply it to the tip and all you want to do is add a tiny dot of Elmer's glue just enough I'll show you right on camera try to get it in focus for you guys so I'm just gonna add a generous glob of Elmer's glue and now we're gonna grab our polyfill and we're gonna just roll it in between our fingers just the bottom of it to try to jumble it up all right sorry about that guys I was out of frame I'm back in frame for you guys try to make this focus and we have the glob of Elmer's glue on there and just gonna roll the end of your polyfill at one end to try to jumble it up and then you're just gonna apply it right onto the Elmer's glue and just hold it there for a little bit and like I said this polyfill it has uh, it's less dense so you can see kind of through it it makes it look more realistic on camera when you're taking figure photography and I would recommend either using Elmer's glue or tacky glue to kind of get it really stuck on there and you're just gonna let it dry and then add a little bit more Elmer's glue on there just to make sure it's secure and that's how you make the uh, smoke effect for the cigarettes so you can have one of your characters, say you have a character that is known for smoking in comics or it's a superhero or a villain. You can really add a little bit more detail onto his desk or him smoking in an alleyway. I think it's a really cool prop that you could add to your figures. I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back and show you guys the finished product. So here we are with uh, both products already finished or both prop slash accessories for your action figures finished. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put some... Uh, action pictures at the end so you guys could also see how it looks on camera and if you guys like this video make sure you leave a like a comment and don't forget to hit that sexy subscribe button so I'm just gonna apply this on here 